Today on the show, we've got a daiquiri variation that is literally the bomb. My name is Leandro Demon Riva, and this is The Educated Barfly. My visceral experience of cocktails isn't usually dictated by the ice. All right, let's get into it. So today's daiquiri variation comes to us from bartender Joaquin Simo of Pouring with Ribbons in New York City. <laughs> Where's the small one? <laughs> All right, first things first, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, it's gonna be a very, very, very easy drink, guys. We're gonna do five raspberries into our tin. For this video, we're gonna be using pomegranate molasses. You can find this on Amazon, the link is below. But if you don't wanna get it from Amazon, you can get it from the World Foods section of any grocery store. I like this brand, it's really good. And what this is gonna do is give us some nice concentrated pomegranate flavor. We're gonna be doing one teaspoon of pomegranate molasses into this cocktail two ounces of white rum. We're gonna be wanting to use some really nice, sharp white rum, so I'm opting for the Bacardi Superior today. You could also use like, if you have Cagna Brava, or if you have like a Rum Babincourt is another one that you could use. Uh, that would be really great in this cocktail. And we're just going to do two ounces here of the rum. And last thing we're gonna do is give it a nice muddle. Just add some ice. And give it a nice hard shake. And we give it a nice strain. Mm, look at that color. Wow. It's like a little. All right, let's let's sip this bad boy, shall we? Oh man, that is good. Super pomegranate, really sharp. You get that nice, you can taste the rum, which is really great. It's just like nice and tart. I'm thinking to myself now that the pomegranate and molasses is not uh, sweet enough to balance the cocktail out. So having that half an ounce of simple syrup in there is really important. It's really, really pomegranate-y and um, that really kind of ties back into the name of the cocktail. So I was reading this co about this cocktail on Punch, which is a, Website that you guys should all be looking at if you're looking at if you're looking for recipes. They just got everything there. What I love about this cocktail and the name of this cocktail, right, is that it all sort of ties in to pomegranates and bombs. So la bamba means the bomb in Spanish. It's the bomb also is then uh, is also an, uh, an English slang term for the best, right? So you have that the la bamba daiquiri, right? The bomb daiquiri, right? But then also the word for a term that's used to describe pomegranates in French is grenade, which is also the same word for grenade, which is then also grenade in uh, English as well. So it all sort of ties into each other. And this is what I love about really thought out cocktail names. Like this is the type of brilliance that I never really think of. I never tie these things together when I make cocktail names and I just always am so tickled and always so happy when bartenders do that. Right. Yeah, it's, it's the same in Norwegian. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, so... so... In Norwegian, pomegranate is uh, granatepra, which means grenade apple. Right. Oh, so it even ties ties in like every... Yeah, I, maybe all the... like awesome. in, in Europe, it's called grenade apples. So you have the... It's so weird to call it the La Bamba Daiquiri because la, la means the in Spanish. So it's this La Bamba Daiquiri, right? Could be like just translated in English as this daiquiri is the bomb, mm -hmm. but then also bomb means pomegranate. So it ties back into the ingredients inside of the cocktail in both French and Norwegian. And probably Spanish too, but they're, it's called grenade. And that's why he calls it a oh, bomb. So we should look up what pomegranate, what's the word for pomegranate in Spanish? I, if it all ties it's in. It's granada. Oh, did you just look it up? Yeah. Oh, so it all, so this is like a, it's a huge. So, it, it's so like, just in Europe. It's like a conspiracy. <laughs> so in Europe, pomegranates are called grenade apples, more or less. They're called grenades. Right. And it's probably because when you open it up, it looks like a shrapnel in it. 
Oh, that's why you think okay. it is? That's why That's why I always assume why it's called grenade Because it apple. looks like it has shrapnel inside? Yeah, you, it's like an apple, you open up and it's just full of shrapnel. Oh yeah, I mean, that makes sense. That's really logical. Yeah, that's super logical. I mean, I just, I just love that he tied it all in and that in English, it also translates to meaning awesome, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that, that feels like, do you think he went that far to plan it? That I don't seems know. Like just a I mean, it just seems too perfect to not be completely planned, don't you think? It seems way too perfect to call something La Bamba, right? Which means the bomb. I mean, I don't want to go through it all over again because everyone's going to be like, you just well, explain so, that over and over again. So, if, so we don't need to go through it, but it just seems too perfect, doesn't it? Well, let's see. Like, if you have, if there are any Spanish viewers, do you, if something is cool, do you guys say this, it's La Bamba? Maybe, or maybe Joaquin Simo watches our videos. Right. And if he watches our videos, he should weigh in on this, I think. Yeah, weigh in on it, please. Joaquin, if you watch our videos, and I'm not sure if you do, but if you do, um, please tell us, was all of this planned? Because if it was, I mean, that's just going to make me feel, it's gonna complete my year, honestly. I mean, that'd just be so awesome. Anyway, there it is, guys. La Bamba Daiquiri, go make it, enjoy it. Banter with us about it. Leave comments, I don't know. Uh, if you guys have any any anything to add to this conversation, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, why do you think it's called a grenade apple? All right, I guess that's it. Ta-da! Oh, we gotta end, end it. Oh, you, I thought you didn't want to do it with all the clutter. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, none of this should have been done with the, the whole history and stuff. I should have been done no, with No, no, it's fine to do it with the, like right at the end.